Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Ty Learn, and today we are going to be doing What If Miguel Joined Miyagi Do. Now, this What If is definitely the most highly requested one I've been getting as of lately, and recently these Cobra Kai What Ifs have been popping off, so I'm going to give you another one today. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you want more Cobra Kai videos, let me know down below and suggest some in the comments, along with subscribing if you are new and you enjoy Cobra Kai content. Now, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to now transition into the video, and I hope you guys once again enjoy. Alright, so in this timeline, we will say instead of Johnny helping Miguel against Kyler, we'll say Daniel visits Reseda because that was his old town and goes to the store that Miguel would then be shown to get jumped near. And instead of Johnny helping in this timeline, it would be Daniel. Daniel would move in and stop the teenagers from trying to harm Miguel. They know him as Daniel, the karate car salesman, and one of Kyler's friends tries to hit him because they obviously don't think he's doing karate. They just think he's just a car salesman, but that guy gets dropped and is on the ground in seconds. Seconds. Daniel goes on to restrain everyone's movements and literally taking on this group of kids by himself without even trying to really harm them, just really disarming them and trying to stop them from fighting him. And they would eventually just leave the area. Kyler looks a little terrified, so what he's going to do is basically run away with Brooks and his other homies to basically get out of there so they don't get bodied. Now, after this, I think Miguel would be amazed and would even ask Daniel if he could teach him a little bit of what he knew because those kids are going to be at school and make Miguel's life miserable. Daniel would say to Miguel how he really doesn't do this karate stuff anymore and he mainly just came down here to go and look at Reseda because this was his old town. And at that point, Miguel would just keep on pleading and asking him to just teach him a little bit so he can defend himself. Daniel looks at Miguel once again and after careful consideration can definitely tell that Miguel is willing to learn karate for the sake of just defending himself and not to mention he does kind of miss karate since Miyagi did pass away and karate is really the one thing that he and Miyagi have in common. Not to mention he even sees his younger self within Miguel and Daniel could help out Miguel. So with that being said, I think Daniel would reluctantly agree to train him. However, he's going to clarify to meet up by his dealership this week. Karate is all about self-defense and Miguel needs to learn that. And with that being said, Johnny would storm off in his car and when he arrives to the dealership after his car gets crashed by Moon and Sam and her friends, and when Johnny tries to go and get a new car, he would see Miguel at the dealership currently doing some training, which at first he doesn't believe to be training, but obviously Daniel is training Miguel like how he always does, which basically is getting rid of the whole idea of karate in the person's head and basically giving them muscle memory. Now, during this time, obviously Sam would come by the dealership and Johnny seeing this along with his neighbor training with Daniel, his old rival. Johnny seeing all of this happen would just leave the dealership, throw the bonsai tree, and would open up Cobra Kai, but for different reasons. He's not going to open up Cobra Kai after seeing Daniel. He's going to open up Cobra Kai after just seeing Daniel take his neighbor, and also just that whole Sam thing pissed him off, and Johnny realizes that he needs karate in his life and needs to go back to the basics. And so he is going to be starting up Cobra Kai for different reasons in this timeline, while Daniel doesn't have Miyagi-Do, but he does have a student. Johnny knows he needs to go back to his roots, and during this time, Johnny, for the most part, would go around trying to get people to join, but after that doesn't work, he decides to use some money to learn how to get a computer, and then use a computer, and then make a website, which would lead into something similar to in canon, which would be Robbie seeing Cobra Kai. This means by when episode 5 rolls around, he would get his first student, which isn't Robbie, but rather Aisha, because she actually looked at the website. However, she at first wouldn't join Cobra Kai because of Johnny, but when Johnny realizes he's kind of desperate and needs money, he decides to just let her in. So yeah, Johnny's first student is Aisha, and during this time, Daniel has been casually training Miguel and even hooking him up with a minor job at LaRusso Auto, where he trains by working here every day after school. Obviously, Daniel first asks Carmen who's okay with this and we get Daniel wanting to meet this Kyler guy Sam's been texting and when he sees that it's one of the kids who tried to jump his student Miguel he would expose this information and after Sam realizes that Kyler is a bully Sam isn't even going to give Kyler a chance and Kyler and Sam before even hitting it off just never happen Anyways, we move to the Halloween dance where instead of Miguel getting jumped, it would be Daniel coming in to save him before it gets worse for Miguel and saving him before he takes real damage. This means when Miguel comes home to Carmen, we can just say that maybe he like fell off a hill or something, but basically Daniel and Miguel aren't going to be stopping karate just like how Johnny and Miguel at first stopped. And he wouldn't be too focused on Kyler and Sam because they wouldn't even be together in the first place, so he really has nothing to worry about. And also, Miguel probably wouldn't even be a skeleton, rather he would be that poor man costume Johnny made fun 
fun of. After this moment, they never tell Carmen about this, and Miguel would then even start to show more progression by the start of episode 5, and showing a montage of him and Daniel training, and now Miguel can even fight and defend himself. Now that we are up to speed, we would get, instead of Sam being lied to, it would just be Kyler trying to pick a fight with Miguel, who ignores Kyler at first, but Sam would then try and defend Miguel, and Kyler would just tell Sam to beat it, and at that point, Kyler would even try and throw a fist at Sam, however, before Sam could even try and block it and embarrass Kyler, Miguel beat Sam to it and saved Sam. He would say how he's not going to get away with this, and Kyler would then say how his teacher is not here to save him this time, and Miguel would then say how he doesn't need him this time. At that point, Miguel would then slam Kyler and proceed to box all of his friends up, and would still look like a hero in front of the entire school, especially in front of Sam. Now, I think after this, Eli and Dimitri would definitely want to join karate, at least Eli who would influence Dimitri, and I think Eli and Dimitri would try and ask Miguel if maybe his sensei has room for two more, and Miguel would then nod. Obviously, he's going to be asking Daniel LaRusso first, who would accept these two other students, and Eli, Dimitri, and Miguel are now training under Daniel in Miyagi-Do Karate. And you guys know how Robbie does come in by episode 5, but when he sees Miguel and Johnny, he just leaves? Well, that wouldn't be the case here, so Robbie actually goes through with meeting Johnny and actually wanting to stay with him, because he now seems like he wants to give a chance and actually care about Robbie. I had something similar to this happen in my What If Robbie Joined Cobra kai video and since miguel isn't here to fill the void of cobra kai i think robbie would basically be the one to fill that void since miguel is now on miyagi do this means both characters are on the opposite sides than their canon so and i think robbie and johnny just kind of want to move forward and kind of forget about the past and i think this lesson is going to happen here instead of with carmen and johnny because obviously carmen and johnny aren't going to even get together considering the fact that the only reason they even had a connection was because johnny was miguel sensei so the whole thing about forgiving and leaving things in the past i think this would mostly come out with Robbie and Johnny rather than with Carmen and Johnny and I think Robbie and Johnny would use this moment to basically forgive each other and I think after this Robbie and Johnny are now trying to move in a better direction and trying to move forward again if you want more of an in-depth look at this you guys should probably go look at my what if Robbie joined Cobra Kai earlier video but again, in short terms, because of Miguel not being there, Robbie and Johnny now can potentially have a good relationship in the storyline, while Miguel and Daniel are growing a bond with each other, similar to that of Johnny and Miguel, but obviously in this time it applies to Daniel. During this time, obviously, Daniel was trying to get Cobra Kai shut down, and this would then lead into Daniel going to visit Miyagi's grave and seeking for answers, and he would then decide to officially reopen up Miyagi-Do. And maybe the final scene could be Eli, Dimitri, and Miguel posted up at Daniel's house and Daniel saying, let's begin. And so with that, episode 5 concludes and we can move on to episode 6. Episode 6 mainly, I think, would just be Robbie and Aisha training hard in hopes of seeking for more students. Luckily, Aisha's parents are keeping Johnny on his feet since she pays for her lessons. As those two train hard, Eli and Dimitri and Miguel would be training at the LaRusso household with Daniel just making sure Eli and Dimitri are adjusting well and i think in this timeline because there's no johnny there isn't going to be no flip the script to make eli turn into hawk this means instead we are going to be having daniel talking to eli about his lip and daniel telling eli that he needs to be better than that and let that pass him because Eli is under the impression of the Miyagi-Do philosophy instead of the Cobra Kai philosophy, I think Eli here is going to be more self-assured and isn't going to be basically just flipping the script. Rather, it's going to be actual Eli just being more confident and the lip mark, you're not going to really see that much. Because it is a thing in Cobra Kai where Hawk's lip isn't as visible depending on his confidence. And this Eli is learning confidence, but not with, you know, flipping the script. He's learning confidence a different way, the Miyagi-Do way. And Dimitri would take some time to adjust, but he would never leave the dojo he initially joins because Daniel's never gonna make Dimitri look like a fool. Now, I think Miguel at first would tell Daniel about a girl he likes, but he's not going to say it's Sam yet, and Daniel gives him advice that gives him courage to go up to Sam. Kyler and Sam never even date in the first place, so the excuse Sam gives isn't even going to work here, so I think Sam would just initially just say yes to Miguel. 
especially after Miguel saved her. The date is a success in the end, and Miguel tells his mom all about it instead of Johnny. As for Robbie and Johnny, they would be putting things to the past still, and Johnny would sit down with Robbie, and I think we would get a scene of just both of them making sure that nothing from the past comes up. Like, Johnny and Robbie are cool, but we don't get a specific scene of them just sitting down and talking. Johnny can say sorry, but he still regrets a lot of what he did to Robbie. Robbie assures to Johnny that it's fine, and they're talking about fighting for the All Valley, and Robbie would basically give similar advice to that of what Miguel would give, and after this, Johnny would go and fight for the All Valley, and when he sees Daniel being there, he is mad and wants to punch Daniel. But like in canon, he still composes himself, and he would say how his Cobra Kai is different, and again, he is not following the same teachings as Kreese, and he's teaching kids about confidence. Since one student really came into Cobra Kai because she wanted confidence. She gets bullied online and harassed over her looks, and Johnny thinks that's stupid, and because of that, she's learning confidence, and she's really felt better than ever before. As for his other student, which is his own son, if it wasn't for Cobra Kai, he and Robbie would probably be in a less significant direction, and honestly, because of this, Johnny and Robbie were able to get back on track. Johnny now has a bond with his son, and that's something that he's truly grateful for, and he wants to fight for Cobra Kai and wants to see his son do well, along with his other students. This allows Johnny to participate in the All Valley and lifts up the band from Cobra Kai, and Robbie and Johnny would celebrate similar to that of Johnny and Miguel. And so with that being said, the episode concludes and we would move to next episode which i think would cause a lot of problems and a lot of conflict but in this timeline the conflict isn't there instead of robbie going to the forest and training for miyagi do it would be eli dimitri and miguel and miguel would be the one who is practicing the two-legged kick after daniel tries to do it but you know gets interrupted after this training i think eli and dimitri would go home but miguel would stay for dinner and this would be a little awkward since he's going to the larusso household where sam and miguel already kind of have a thing and i think this is a good opportunity for miguel to kind of tell daniel about this so without robbie at the dinner table and Miguel initially already being at the dinner table, I think the only thing that can come out of the scene is Miguel and Sam telling Daniel about their relationship, which Daniel would have to at least reluctantly agree because he doesn't really have a problem with them at this point, or he can't. The reason I say can't is because Miguel and Sam at first couldn't be together because Miguel was in Cobra Kai, but the what if is literally changing that whole thing. So really, Daniel is just kind of awkwarded out that his student and daughter are together, but that's really about it. In the end, Daniel is awkwarded out, but would just accept Miguel and Sam being together. Now, with that being said, this would lead into the next episode where most of the conflict happens because of the party, but the party wouldn't even happen in itself because most of the Cobra Kai students aren't even there, and Cobra Kai isn't really all that popular in the first place. You can argue maybe Miyagi-Do opens up the party, but when Sam's grounded, Miguel would understand as to why she's grounded. And there's no Robbie there for Miguel to make any assumptions. So I think we're good and Sam and Miguel are still going to stay together even after Sam avoids his text messages. Even though she doesn't even do it on purpose. Now this would lead into the All Valley Tournament. And I think in this timeline Miyagi-Do would have... And as for Cobra Kai, Robbie and Aisha actually managed to get a couple of students. Specifically, they got Doug and Bert. So, first round would be Dimitri versus Bert, where Dimitri actually gets a point off of Bert and proceeds to the next round. The other matches are the same, except for Dimitri versus Miguel, where Miguel wins swiftly, and the semifinals are Eli versus Robbie, where we get Eli initially losing, but then tying the match, and now the score is 1 1. Robbie would mention Eli's lip, which distracts him, and Daniel sees this. Before the match starts, though, Daniel would pause and bring Eli to him and say to remember to look past it and be better than your opponent. Eli focuses and when the match begins, Eli is pressuring Robbie badly to the point to where Robbie is only evading, but just when Eli is starting to get excited and gets a little too confident that he thinks he won, Robbie strikes his blind side moving on to the finals, and I'm going to say here as well, just for anyone curious, Eli and Moon are going to be together. Like, it doesn't matter if Eli's not Hawk. Eli has confidence now, so we're going to be showing off this confidence by having Eli get with Moon. Xander versus Miguel is the same, and inevitably this leads into Miguel versus Robbie, where neither one is crippled, and I think it's just as intense as their canon match, but the match this time ends with Miguel showing off a technique Robbie never expected, especially after just training and only cobra kai 
which is the two-legged kick. Also, Miguel is never enraged against Robbie, and if anything, he has a focus mode now, which means Miguel is even stronger than potentially his All Valley Season 1 counterpart. So I think Robbie here is going to be overwhelmed, and in the end, Miguel wins the match. Robbie never learns no mercy or really any of Cobra Kai, and the lesson never really makes them spiral down this badly. Johnny and Daniel as well never get mad at each other, which leads into Johnny teaching Cobra Kai about No Mercy. And because Johnny and Daniel never fight over Robbie being a Miyagi-Do because that doesn't even happen in the first place, they're actually on good terms and are cool with each other. Now, this is going to be a little odd, guys, but because of them being cool and Cobra Kai not winning, Kreese never comes back. Which means the main conflict is basically non-existent since Johnny and Daniel stay on good terms and never spiral down because of Kreese not being there. Miguel never cheats against Robbie, and Robbie and Miguel never really have any main conflict in the first place, and if anything, are cool and respect each other as fighters. Only big thing here is when Ali's friend request comes in, Johnny would pursue after her and not Carmen because Johnny and Carmen never even interact all that much. And I think here, when Tori arrives, maybe Tori and Robbie can get together, and that's really about it. Eli and Dimitri never have any beef because they're friends from the start and both of them are in the same dojo so they have no reason to fight each other and I think here boys this is where the conflict of the main story kind of ends and realistically you can end the series off on season one Season 1 changes the most, but because of these changes, Season 2 and 3 realistically would really happen, or would not ever happen. The story here drastically changes, and it's mostly a positive outlook, and this is where I'm going to be leaving our story off for right now, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to give a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you are new, hit the bell icon, that way you are notified and updated every time I upload, and be sure to leave some suggestions for other Cobra Kai videos you want me to make in the future, and follow me on Twitter, link in the description. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys want to check out my other Cobra Kai content, that would be greatly appreciated, and yeah, if you're a Cobra Kai fan, again, consider subscribing. My name is Tyler, and I'm going to catch you on the next video. Have a nice rest of the day, everybody, and peace.